on in grade 9 in previous video we have seen three problems from set 3.3 related to division of polynomials by synthetic division method let's go to the fourth problem this is the polynomial given this is dividend and this is divisor now first step is write in index form now look here they have given any how square term is given at the last and x raised to one term is given over here earlier to that and constant term is missing that is why first Thing what you should do is write in index form. In index form, two x raised to four will come first. Then three x cube will come. After x raised to three, x raised to two should come. So minus two x square should come. Then plus four x and then plus zero. Zero is for last constant term, which is missing in this standard form. This is standard form. All right. Not even standard form because your square term is given afterwards. When it would have been given, if uh, this square term would have been given over here, and then nothing over there at the end, then it would have been in the standard form. After writing that is still here. This is standard form, and we are adding one more term which is missing. That becomes your index form. Now let us after you have index form, you go to the coefficient form. So write all the coefficients: three, uh, sorry, two, three, minus two, plus four, and zero. This is your coefficient form. Now let us go to the divisor. Divisor is x plus three, so opposite of three is minus three. So minus three, we are going to write it over here, and all the coefficient form of dividend, we are going to write it over here. Now first step: two as it is, we take down. Then you multiply minus three into two. Minus three into two. What you get? Minus six. So in bracket I have written for you to understand. You may write in pencil and then erase it afterwards, or you may not write directly. Do your multiplication right here minus six. Okay, you might not understand from where this minus six has come. So I am telling you, multiply these two, minus three into two, you get minus six. So like this multiplication and like this addition subtraction, you have to do the operations. Now minus six and plus three, what is answer? Minus three. Again, there will be multiplication of minus three into minus three, minus three into minus three. What is the answer of this nine? Now plus nine and minus two, you get plus seven. Again, multiply these two. So you have seven into minus three is minus twenty one. Minus twenty one plus four is minus seventeen. Again, minus seventeen into minus three. I have written it over here. That is how you get fifty one. And fifty one plus zero is fifty one. All right. So I have written this for your reference. You may erase this, do it orally, and write it down. All right? Okay. Now last term, what you get is always a remainder. That means these four terms are related to quotient. So coefficient of quotient is what? Two minus three plus seven minus seventeen. This is your coefficient of quotient. All right? Now. If these are the coefficient form, then what should be the quotient in terms of the variable? Count one, two, three, four. If four are the numbers, we have decided four minus one is three. Three should be the power of the variable. What is variable x? So highest power of the quotient should be three. That is how you calculate. See one, two, three, four, four minus one. Look here, one, two, three, four, and five. See, you no, know, one, two, three, four, five terms are there, and therefore x raised to four. Five minus one is four. Similarly, one, two, three, four terms are there, so four minus one, three. So first term will be two x raised to three, then minus three x square, then plus seven x minus seventeen. This is your quotient, and what is your remainder? Fifty one. Is this clear? Okay, let's go to the next problem. Let's go to the fifth problem. Let me do it in front of you. First, we are going to write an index form. So x raised to four. Write all the missing terms. X cube is missing. So plus zero x cube. After cube square term. So it is already there. Minus three x square. After x square, x term should come. It is missing. So add plus zero x. And at the end, minus eight. So what is the coefficient form? You will have one comma. Zero comma minus three comma zero comma minus eight. This is your coefficient form. All right, okay. 
Now divisor is plus 4. So opposite of plus 4 is minus 4. So minus 4 will come over here. And coefficient form 1, 0, minus 3, 0 and minus 8. Now let us do directly. First 1 will be taken down as it is. Alright. 1 into minus 4 is minus 4. Minus 4 into uh, minus 4 plus 0. Here addition subtraction. It will be minus 4 itself. Minus 4 into minus 4 plus 16. 16 minus 3 plus 13. 13 into minus 4. 13 fours are 52. So here minus plus into minus minus. Minus 52. So like this multiplication and like this addition subtraction. So minus 52 plus 0 minus 52. Now minus 52 into minus 4. 4 twos are 8 and 5 fours are 20. And minus into minus is plus. So plus 2, 0, 8. Keep little distance between this so it will not be mess. Alright? Okay. So plus 208 and minus 8. What is the answer? Plus 200. Plus 200. Is this clear up to here? So your remainder is this. This is your remainder. Alright? So... First, we will write coefficient form. Coefficient form of quotient is equal to. This is coefficient form of dividend. This is coefficient form of quotient. What is it? 1, comma, minus 4, comma, 13, comma, minus 52. Because this is remainder. This we should not consider. If coefficient form is this, then what will be quotient? Quotient is equal to count 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 minus 1, 3. So highest power of the variable will be 3. And which is the variable? X. So first will be 1, X raised to 3. 1, X raised to 3 means only X raised to 3. Then after 3, X raised to 2. Minus 4, X raised to 2. Plus 13, X minus Minus 52. This is your quotient. Is it clear? And what is your remainder? Remainder is equal to 200. Have you understood very easy no? Okay, let's go to the next problem. Let's see sixth problem. Now see, I have not written here index form because this is already in index form. See, y is to 3, y is to 2, y is to 1 and then constant is there. So, it is already in index form. Therefore, directly I have written coefficient form of dividend. So, what is coefficient form? 1 minus 3 plus 5 minus 1. Now, what is divisor? Y minus 1. Opposite of minus 1 is plus 1. So, plus 1 I am going to take over here. And coefficient form of dividend I am going to write it over here. We will write it little apart. Plus 5 and minus 1. Alright. Now, as you know, 1 will be written as it is over here. 1 into 1 is 1. Minus 3 plus 1. It is going to be minus 2. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. Plus 5 minus 2 plus 3. 3 into 1 is 3. 3 minus 1 is plus 2. Is this clear? So this will be your, this is your remainder. So what is remainder? Remainder is 2. Now let us come to the quotient. Coefficient of, now this last is remainder. So coefficient form of quotient will be 1 minus 2 comma plus 3. So what will be the coefficient? What is the variable? Y. So what will be the power of Y? 1, 2, 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So highest power will be 1Y square minus 2Y. Plus 3. Is it clear? So your quotient will be y square minus 2y plus 3. Is this clear? And your remainder will be plus 2. So we have solved all 6 problems from 3.3. .3. Okay. I hope synthetic division method is clear and it's very easy also. Please try to do on your own also and then cross check with the answers on the board. Alright. So that's all from my side for today students. Thank you.